how to use the integrated mortgage sourcing system. Once you have validated your fact find, click Get Quotation on the left hand menu. Toolbox has identified that we have created a mortgage and protection workflow and also created a mortgage and protection fact find. Therefore, it is giving us options of both sourcing systems on the left hand menu. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use Mortgage Source. Firstly, on the left hand menu, under Get Quotation, select Mortgages. We will go through a full criteria mortgage search rather than indicative quote. Click on the second Mortgage Source logo to begin sourcing. If you have previously sourced for this client, the results will appear at the bottom of this screen. As this is a new client who we haven't sourced for before, this is empty. We can begin a new source by clicking the Mortgage Source logo. All details entered on the client screen and fact find will pull through directly into sourcing, so there is no need to copy the information across. There may be some fields which need to be completed before sourcing and these will be highlighted yellow. Click the arrows on the right of each header to show further sourcing options. Amend the sourcing filters as required to return more specific results. Navigate through each of the headers amending as required. True cost can be calculated over a custom term or you can tick to calculate over the initial period. You also have the option to add or remove fees and cash back here. The fact find details section opens to show a copy of the fact find for easy referencing during sourcing. This cannot be edited from this screen. Near misses are set at the default shown on screen but can be amended as required. User details will be pre-populated with your details, but can be amended here if required. Product listing can be used to source more specifically. Once you are happy with the sourcing criteria, click Search Mortgages. Results are displayed at the bottom of the screen. 20 results are shown per page, although this can be amended. There is the option to filter results using the search function. And searches can be reset on the right hand side of the screen. The results are automatically sorted by monthly payment. However, you can amend this by clicking on the dots next to any header and select an alternative way to sort. Hover over the blue eye for more information on the fees for each product. Pin results to the top of the screen for easy comparison. To view further details about any product, click the green section on the right hand side and select details. Here you will find all of the information regarding that product, with quick links to the lender's website and affordability calculator. Clicking the arrow on the right of each header will expand that section, giving more detailed information about the product. Go back to the results at any time by clicking Show Results at the top of the screen. When you are ready to select a product for your client, click on the green section on the right of the appropriate product and click Select. The documents which relate to this product are available at the top of the screen, although they do not need to be downloaded as they will automatically pull through into the compliance summary later. One document worth noting at this stage is the stress test. It is a good visual for your client to see how rate rises will affect their payments. You can hover over each bar to get a breakdown of the costs. Back on the previous screen, you can amend the settings for the evidence of research document. These default to what is shown on screen. 
Further down the page, you can edit your illustration document, selecting the schedule type and amending or adding fees accordingly. Once you have amended your evidence of research and illustration documents, at the bottom of the screen you have three options. Show results, which will take you back to the results page and lose any changes on this screen. You can then select an alternative product if required. The blue Add to Compliance Summary Research button in the middle will add all research documents to the Compliance Summary. The green Add to Compliance Summary and Create Policy button on the right will add all final documents to the Compliance Summary and create a policy for you. This will also mean that this case could go for a quality review and therefore you should only click this once you are ready to apply and have completed the Compliance Summary. To demonstrate, firstly I will click the blue Add to Compliance Summary Research button. When I now go back into the Compliance Summary using the left hand menu, the documents have been pulled through to their respective section automatically. As mentioned previously, these are date, time and user stamped to keep a full audit trail. Going back into sourcing via the Get Quotation link on the left hand menu and clicking back on the Mortgage Source logo for full criteria sourcing, you will see your previous sourcing results displayed at the bottom of the screen. Click on the green section on the right hand side again to view. Find your chosen product again and within the green section on the right hand side click select. You will be taken to the same screen as before with the evidence of research and illustration options. At the bottom of this screen click the green button when you are ready to apply and add the final version of the documents to the compliance summary. This will also create a policy. As mentioned previously, this could also mean that the case is quality checked. Confirmation appears at the top of the screen to say the policy has been created, although will need editing. If we now go back into the compliance summary, you can see the newly created policy. And all the final documents have been attached in their respective areas automatically. It is important to ensure that the compliance summary is fully completed at this stage. Click edit and update any sections which are still outstanding. In this example, the fact find is one of the items that is missing. Therefore, I am clicking save validated fact find which pulls through the document automatically. Once the summary is fully completed, update the screen. The policy will also need to be amended accordingly. You can access this easily by clicking the policy number here. Further information regarding policies will be given in the next video.